Hi, I'm Josh Ozerski, and I'm here on eHow.com making ultimate roast potatoes. I have got this great recipe, the original provenance of which uh, comes indirectly from Heston Blumenthal, the great British uh, chef, by way of the food lab in Seattle. And basically, it's a way to get the potatoes broken up in such a way that they really absorb the oil. Now, I've taken potatoes, I've quartered them, and then as per Blumenthal's method, you rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse them until you get every little bit of potato starch out. I just like to rinse it in the sink with uh, a steady at a steady pace. All right. So I have these boiling in water now, and I'm going to let these boil and boil and boil until they're not just soft, but almost at the point that they're beginning to fall apart. You don't want to actually have this turn into Vichy soie, but you want to have it really beginning to break down. And then once that breaks down and goes cool, that's when the oil is going to hit it. So I'm going to let this boil now. So if you see, they're kind of beat up looking which is what I want. I want these to be beat up looking. I want them to have all of their inner viscera exposed to the oil. So speaking of oil, I'm going to take my roasting pan now and I'm going to get a little bit of heat under it. I'm going to use some good quality olive oil, the best I can get a hold of. And I have some garlic here, which I am going to put in. I want the garlic to flavor the olive oil. If you put the oil and you have everything go in there and then you throw in the garlic and just hope for the best, obviously you're not going to get the really even flavors. And again, this is a next level type recipe, so that just won't do. You don't have to get them super brown. Like where they are right now, where they're starting to sizzle, they've already given up their oil their own uh, volatile oil into the olive oil and mixed it all together. So I can basically turn this off. And now I'm going to put in the potatoes. And I'm going to put in a whole bunch of rosemary too. And I'm going to move this all around and make sure that everything is super coated with oil. But if there's any question about it getting coated with oil, I'll see to it that it's settled by coating it with even more oil. All right. On the whole, this looks good to me, but two things are missing. One, it needs a hell of a lot of kosher salt on it to make sure that it's going to get nice and crispy, and maybe even a little more besides. And then it needs some black pepper. All right. So now I have some very oily potatoes, and I'm going to put them into a hot oven, an oven that is 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. And you flip them just like you would if you were cooking it on the top of the stove. So now I've turned it about three or four times. It's been in about 20 minutes or so. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to serve it. The truth is, they could go even longer, but they're perfect now the way they are. I mean, I just want to present to you with this. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I'm not even going to eat it. That's how, that's how beautiful it is. The fact of the matter is that those micro fissures that were created in the boiling has really allowed all of these flavors to get inside the potato. I'm going to put these all on this one big, amazing, incredible plate. Holy God. Look at this. Most of the potato like fell out of the skin, but like what's left is like totally penetrated with like garlic and olive oil and rosemary. Oh my God. I, I really, I can't do justice to how good this is. All right. So anyway, not to belabor the point, it's freaking really, really good. It's beautiful. And then you garnish it with a little bit of fresh parsley. So there you have it, ultimate roasted potatoes. I'm Josh Ozerski, and this is eHow Food.